so guys here i'm having a very good uh, ugandan brother we are going to discuss uh, the matters of africa uh, brother introduce yourself oh thank you so much for your opportunity my name i'm called fabiano nibirunji a ugandan by nationalities so i'm happy to meet my fellow Kenyan, we are one. <laughs> we, are, we are one people. And uh, really, I'm happy to meet you. And uh, welcome to Kenya. Karibu sana. To Uganda. Yeah, to Uganda. Hey, I said what? <laughs> Kenya, welcome to Kenya. Yeah, but it's the same, it's the same. Yeah. Uh, yes, yes, yes. So I'm going to ask him about uh, African experience in Uganda. And this is one of those discussions you want to listen to. So kindly watch this video and watch it till the end of the video. See you. Yes, hello. I'm good, how are you? Yep. So, uh, tell us about Uganda. Wow. Uganda, let me just say in short, Uganda is a land of opportunity. Yes. Yep. Land of opportunity. Yep. Why would you say Uganda is a land of opportunity? It's like, um, I, it's the, when you look at around people who are living around here, most especially are like foreigners. So welcome each and everyone. And whenever they reach here, they feel comfort. So they get a lot what they expected. So for me, I see it's an opportunity for them, although they may not feel like going back to their own country. But however much uh, the business sectors, they get a lot of opportunities. So I feel like there is this, uh, there is this uh, emotional, uh, yeah, yes, yes. Okay. You said it's a land of opportunity. Yeah. Who are these people who go to Uganda? Actually, I may start with like East African and also West African and uh, even uh, in the Western countries. Yes. Like in East Africa, the whole country, you know, in Africa, they are here. Yeah, all the like Tanzanians, the Rwandans, Kenyans and uh, uh, Congolese, so the, everywhere, Sudanese, and, uh, Somalis, so they are here, Nigerians, so every, you can see all the they are here, you know, they are, all the countries are here, yeah, there's a, there are a lot, yes, yes. So which country do you think is dominant? Which country is dominant? Mm. I saw some Indians. Yeah, Indians, um, yeah. For the for your information, they are the ones who are dominant. Yes, yeah, before they came here, they settled long ago, so they have found comfort in this country. I remember in 1986, yep. something happened. Mm. Uh, the president, by them, mm. uh, pushed them out of the country. Yes. But, uh, the president, the kind of president came, mm. told them, uh, which I think is a very nice. Thing. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah, yeah, it happened. You know the history. You know the history happened, but later on, they, they you know, they, they had some reconciliation with them. So they came back, and now they are settled. You know, they have made their homes. They are marrying. They, they, there is another. Their tribe is called the Wachotera. The Wachotera. They are Indians mixed with Ugandans. Yeah, they are here. So you have Indians who are intermarried? Yes, they, their tribe is called Watotera and uh, soon they will get, the, they are still, you know, requesting their citizenship. Soon they will be, become Ugandans. They are, yeah, they are requesting about, they will get it. Mm. So how, how, how many tribes does Uganda have? So far, according to the research, they made um, more than 52. 52. Now they are like, in the strategic area, around 55. Uh, they keep coming, you know. Soon we shall have others, like Ugandans, where, where like, 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 like Ugandans, Eritreans, Ugandans, Somalis, Ugandans, Sudanese. Ugandans. We are still trying to figure out which tribe you can give them. Yeah, because they are more, you can see around here, most of the shops, most of the, the business they are having here, Ethiopians, Eritreans, they are here and they have settled. They have settled. So soon we shall have our own tribe. Yeah, <laughs> so it's really it's amazing, it's amazing, and uh, I, this country, now I'm telling you, it's a lot of opportunity. Yeah, yes. You know, I love that you welcome people. Sure. Uh, you guys are not Yes. Yes. I love that people, that is a very nice people. I never noticed 
No, they, they are they are two they are diff, they are Eritreans and Ethiopians. But for us we cannot identify them. They are the ones who can tell them how many. Yes. Because sometimes they are mixed up. And before before Eritrea and Somalia they are one country. Eritrea and Ethiopia, they are one country. So they divided. So but we can we can tell. We can tell who is this because yeah, they are more they are many. Yes, yeah, around Kampara here, yeah, they are majority, I can say they're like around 60%. 60. It's, I'm telling you, you're going to see when they are passing around here. They, I saw, I saw you still. And uh, you can see that like most of those buildings, they are the ones occupying them. So they are found a refuge in this country. Yeah, yes. You know, even in Kenya, the Kenya Yes. Really? Mm. Yes, okay. Yes. Mm. It's silly. It's silly. I know that place around Madhari just ends. I mean I took my studies in Kenya, so I know that Isiri, Madhari, I know Huruma, those areas, yeah, Pangani, you know. I know, I know, yes. I I saw some summaries many. Yes. I saw your Yeah, you know, I took my study from there. So, okay. um, I, I was in Consorata, Consorata Missionaries. Consorata means it's a Catholic institute, you know. It was in around the Rangata Rangai. So that's why I was there. You know, they did just studies, you know, my philosophy, I did it from there. So, but later on, I came back to Shibaba. Mm -hmm. so. so, what similarities do you think you got that mm. the other African countries? Mm. Let me say, maybe... Uh, uh, I'm trying to find out this one word which I can say. Uh, we are cooperative. Yeah, the, co the cooperation. The cooperation. Yes, that's all we have. It's a lot of yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. When you see like Ugandans, Kenyans, you know, you have that good, that strong cooperation. Yes, yeah. I have, I have noticed because I have a lot of friends who have been traveling different countries, so I've seen that, you know, when they say from Uganda, wow, you feel there's something, you know. And you are from Kenya, wow. Even here, when you see Kenyans, wow, we feel so proud. We see, we feel so proud, you know, how much you people are developed, you know. So we feel so proud, you know. So even as when you go to Kenya, say from Uganda, oh, oh. you so they see something at least, you know. Yeah, we cooperate. Yes. You know, yeah. if otherwise you have Africa was one kind of. Yeah, sure, sure. You could move to Uganda, do anything. There, there was many governors who came. Sure. But the white man came and they brought boundaries. Mm. They brought countries. Yes. They brought uh, language, his language, he brought here. Sure. Um, what do you think about. Uh, do you think we should have a border less things? Uh, you see, me, I call it whatever happened, you know. When the white came came in, we, our ancestors, our great great parents, let me call it the, it was lack of knowledge. It was lack of knowledge. They didn't know. They didn't know. They entered something they didn't know. You know, I may call it like, I mean, they, it's like they didn't know what they were, they were forced to do, what they were uh, obliged to do, what they were taught. You know, they are say, you know, they were like just following, you know, because. When they, you know, like when they, someone is, uh, when we are codependent, someone can tell you, do this, you do, you know, because you are targeting something. So your knowledge is there. Me, as long as I get it, that is it. So it was lack of knowledge. And then we cannot, uh, we cannot just start feeling guilty or like trying to judge them what they did. No, it wasn't, you know. So me, I saw it. they did that mistake. Yeah, they did that mistake, we have to admit, but now it's time now to see whenever there is in the society, whenever there is a problem, we have to find out a solution. Yeah. yeah. That's true. That's true. Yeah. So if you have any message for someone who wants to visit me, mm. 
Me, first of all, this, whenever we say Africa, yeah, it always pain me, me like a Ugandan going to Kenya or going to, no, let me, let me actually going to Nigeria. They ask me what you're coming to do. No, I mean like generally, it's, it's obvious. Yeah, yeah. When I go to Nigeria yeah, or I go to any country, Af in Africa, within Africa, yeah. they ask me what I'm going to do. I'm going to study, I'm going to study, I'm going to work. They give me remits. You understand, yeah? They give me visa, you have to pay visa, you have to do this, you have to, you understand. But when a, a white man comes, they say, come, they call for themselves, they call them. But me as an African, Oh, they are automatically, you know, you know, they call them, come, come, come. But me, Africa, when I go to Nigeria, they say that, no, 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 you go, you know, they see us, you know, we, we don't feel that brotherhood as Africans. Eh? You give me limits, you give me like prescription, you have to stay here three months after you go back to your country. Why? I'm an African. Whatever he does, whatever he wants. You understand? Like, like, uh, like. If I go to another country in Africa, they can't give me a job. They have, their requirement is you have to be a native from that country, which is really something which is hurting. But a white man can establish whatever. You know, I always thought this problem was only in my own country, Kenya. Mm. I think uh, it's a problem you also have here. Yeah. Uh, no, it's a, as I said, it's a, since it was lack of knowledge, it became a common mistake. To all the ancestors. We, yes. It's like we got an injection. You understand? It's like, yeah, we got, yeah, that's, that is it. And there's few of us we understand. Yeah? Like when, on my side, when I bring on the perspective, on the spirituality, I see uh, it's like we are bewitched. You know? So that is part of the spirituality because I did that, you know. So I see like we are bewitched because those witch doctors, you know, what they do. <laughs> anyway, it's what I what I can tell you. It's like whatever it happened, we are we be, we are bewitched and uh, we don't know. We don't know. It. Yeah, but it's always pain me. When you see Africa to Africa, we don't understand each other. You know, we don't welcome each other. We don't love each other. We discriminate, you know. It could be something, you know, one. Like you have come to Uganda, like here. You know, I, I feel so proud, you know, when you are speaking Swahili. <laughs> when I know, yeah, I feel so proud, you know. Because I see we are one. You know, Ugandans have married Kenyans here. People, are, I have a lot of friends, you know. Yes, they have married, you know, and they good enough. The way I've seen East Africa, we tried like the three, three countries, like me coming to Kenya. Uh, I like that that strategy for what they did. Uh, there is no need for visa, there's no need like for a passport. I use my ID, I use my ID, but in only three countries it is uh, Kenya, Uganda, no, Kenya, Uganda, and Rwanda only. Yes, I have been there. Tanzania. Oh, you have to have a passport. You have to have a passport. You can go to to uh, run with your ID. Yes, that's yes. I have witnessed that I've been there. For that is for Uganda. Okay? Ugandans, even a Kenyan. Can go to Uganda with ID. Yes, ID without a passport. They give me just a, a paper where there is a those three countries for visa. They just sign and stamp. You don't pay anything. It's a free visa, free country. Yes, so I've I've witnessed that on the borders. You know, I've been there. But other countries, no. Uh, oh, it's not bad. It's not bad. Yes, it's not bad. It's great. Yeah. And it's very clean, you know. It's clean, and they, you know, obviously, you know, it's you know, we let's admit the man has done a lot. So. It's a clean country. I've been there. It's a clean. Rwanda, it's, a, it's the best in, the, in East Africa. Rwanda is the best, you know. It's a clean country, you know. Let's admit that. We cannot add you. We cannot. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Yeah. Yeah. Only one thing is like you have to have someone there. Yeah. Because when you are entering, they ask you, who am I going to? How am I they give you a free visa? Who am I going to see? At least you must have a friend. 
because they you give the number of the person and they call the profile. Yeah. Uh, just only that. Yes, to get a friend. Yes, you know they have a they, they have a backup. They you know they are that is really well equipped. Uh, just you have a friend. You say that, please. Just whenever they call me, say you know me. Finished. Only that. Wait. So you go there and you tell them that you are going to some place. Yeah, obviously, since they give you a free visa, you tell them the reason. It's not, they just want to to, to, to monitor, to see, yeah, you know, but it's free. What if you don't have a friend? Yes, you have to Say, you are going to visit, it's okay. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, to cut the video, mm. um, what message do you have for Africans? Africans. Yes. Africans. <laughs> it's really hard, yeah. It's really hard because my my understanding, my ideology, my strategy is different from yours, you know. And uh, we really, it's hard. It's hard. You know, I always follow motivation speakers. You know, I always read quotation authors, books, what. But we have failed to make it. And uh, we had like African leaders. Yeah, those guys, our legend. Whatever they spoke, yeah, it is now happening. <laughs> You know, <laughs> you know. Yes. But all in all, I see it's the the hunger we have in Africa. Hunger, yes. the hunger. Separation. Yeah, you understand. Yes. And the one thing, if we fight against selfishness, we shall make it. That is the only message I have. So, according to you, the problem is selfishness. selfishness. From selfishness. They have things coming. They, there are some other consequences. They keep, you know, it's like a chain. They keep pulling each other, you know. But it's such a selfishness. Selfishness is the, is the one which is causing everything. You know, because Africa to Africa, you know, jealous will come in, you know, pride, gritty, you know, brutally, uh, envy, whatever, you understand? So, those, without touching the political stability, you know, selfishness, the first. If we can share, if you can allow each other, I, each one is idea. I give my idea, you, are, you accept. That's why those white men, they are, and they, we, you know, for them, they understand each other. They may have a business proposal. For them, they say, let's go, let's do, let's try. But me, is if I propose to you like a business, as African, you will, no, not, not only jealous first, you first contradict my business idea. So no, I think we shall fail immediately. Eh? Negative attitude, without even the negative attitude. Because I'm seeing that I will fail, I'm seeing that we shall not make it. You understand? Those negative attitude, yeah? Uh, you know, but a white man, for him say that, okay, good idea, let's try, let's go. They start. They support each other, they pull each other. They don't bat biting, they don't say that I know he will fail. No. So if we can admit that, I think we can make it. Oh. Yeah. That's a powerful speech coming from uh brother from uh, the part of Africa. Sure, sure, sure. You know, I thought you would say that is also a part of Africa. Uh, may I say it's a land of opportunity. It's not the part of Africa. Okay, it's not a part of Africa. Because the part of Africa, they, those words, you know, they were given someone we don't know. But we have to now see, you know, it's something called lived experience. Yes. Lived experience. That's what I'm telling you, land of the job. Lived experience. Let me explain it. Let me explain it. You see these street boys, this chocolate, those people, those who sweet in the sleep. You see them as they are crazy, they are mad. Isn't it? Isn't it? Uh, like they are, they are crazy. Something. They are crazy. We see them. They are ignorant. They didn't make knife. <laughs> they are, they, they take them. drugs. They are the, they are the worst. We see them. That is our mentality. And if you have never been in that situation, it's hard for you to understand what is going through. Okay. Yes, because that mentality we start from the books, qualification, drug addict, what what. Even it's hard to counsel them. Because you have never been in that situation. Yeah, sure. But if you have been ever there, for you can understand their situation, why they are there, why why are they like that? That is called lived experience. Without going in the books, oh, I don't know, my lecturer told me this, uh, how to, no, how, how, no. How, how, no. It's a lived experience. That's what I'm telling you. When I say land of opportunity, it's a lived experience. 
I have seen it. But this pearl of Africa, I have never seen that. When you say pearl of Africa, I have never experienced that. It's what I read. It's like, it's like someone just wrote something, a book, a title, Pearl of Africa. Someone called This is Africa. We didn't, we di we didn't innovate, we didn't create anything. But when I say Pearl, the land of opportunity, it's because I've seen that. I have lived that. I have experienced that. That is lived experience. So I'm not contradicting the Pearl of Africa, no. But I'm saying what I have experienced. Uh, what they say, like Kenya is the uh, pride of pride of Africa. Uh, so I don't know according to pride of Africa. Have you experienced the pride of Africa? So maybe that is. I I, I found this. Yeah, that's what we are lacking. If we can have a lived experience, something we see, eh? like for me Kenya, the, the, on my understanding how I, I have came to understand Kenya. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a land it's a land of uh, it's a land of persistence it's a land of persistence yeah not pride of africa that's on my side because when i try to live the experience the experience there they are people who persist you know once you are once you come once you have a target on something you focus and you make sure you make it that is you people when it comes to Mau Mau, Mzungu and Ulaya, Uhuru. So, and you, you did that, you persist on that. You mean what you say, you know? So, not pride of Africa, the land of persistence. Yeah, land of focus. Yeah. That's really nice. Yes. Mm. So, uh, thank you for your time. Thank you so much. You don't tell us My name is Nibirundi uh, Fabris. Fabiano. Fabiano. Yes, maybe Runji. Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay, okay. I, I want to ask you a question. It's okay, it's okay. It's kind of contradicting. Yes, if please. You find it too much. It's okay. Just bounce it's okay. Now, why do you think uh, you're really mm. just a little bit ignorant? Come again? <laughs> why, why do you think the next president? Yes. Mm. Uh, um, I may not talk much about it. You know, we all have our natural, our natural, our natural, uh, our natural passion. You know, and we are different. You know, what he did, he might have a reason and a will. Whereby it may be hard for me to to understand the reason. You understand, you know. But uh, since I told you, uh, human nature, human speaking, uh, we always want. I don't know. I have experienced something. I can give you a job if you are my countryman. I can give you a job if you are my tribesman. I don't know if you have witnessed that in within within we we black people Africans even their own families you understand I may have I may be in a position the gov in the, in the government maybe having a strong position yeah you understand I may be having a strong position in parliament in maybe in the, in the, in the politics mm -hmm. but the one thing I'm going to think it's my siblings, my sisters, my sons, my daughters, my relatives, my connections. So I, I first think them. So others, they are the second. Primary is my family tree. So for him to do that, maybe he wanted to show love, maybe. He wanted to, to bring in that uh, togetherness within. So coming back to your point, I understand, but I'm not going to touch it. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to tackle it because everyone, everyone always have their own idea what they do. When you when you say, I, I I used to like him even now I like what he did together with the when you see Gaddafi. You know, they are the guys who have their own, you know. You understand? You understand because they understood what they wanted. 
but we as i've told you we cannot see really some people we are blind you know we don't see eh? we are definitely to bring that idea uh, idea me to bring that idea it's because they wanted the best of uh, we you know however much sometimes that's why I'm i told you when you don't understand my idea some people they always quit but others they always use force to make you understand it's like it's like in our families our, some parents when you are stubborn they leave you but other parents they cannot they can be driven they can kill you because you have faith to understand what they are telling you so he did i mean that uh, he was such like a parent a father yes but because some people may they may not understand, they may not understand on his you know critical thinking for him you know you know he was strong you know he was strong yeah he was a soldier yeah when he tells something you don't want to you contradict he's just slap or he just you know because he sees like you don't know what you want it's like a parent a parent there are some parents and that's why i told you they are this natural passion hey, that's natural passion some more people have anger here and there and then just you know others they come down so that is the person yeah so for him he wanted the best maybe some people could not understand like you know go i don't want this i want i want you know i wanted to really change by force yeah so that's i think i don't know if you got my point so i didn't want to, i didn't want to tackle to come in in in, in. Yeah. you know i'm not in the black i'm not in white i don't know where i'm falling you know <laughs> You yeah, understand? Eh? Yeah, yeah, I am just there, you know. And anyway, we have, to, you know, we have to. This is all about, you know, we have to be open to each other. Yes. Wow. wow. Mm. So, brother Fabian. Yes, please. Thank you so much for your time. Yes, yes. Yeah. Mm. Uh, thank you for welcoming into the garden. Yes. You know, you were saying Karibu Mimi. Mm. Let me do something. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, thank you so much. So, let me, sorry, uh, could you also, uh, you know, I'm sorry, you know, you are the one who is asking, you know, but also it's, it's all about sharing. Yeah, yeah, sure. How is the current situation in Kenya right now? Let me sit here. Oh, we, we, we maybe we, 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 we do a sh another shot, maybe. Yeah. We, that one, it's okay, great. Let me just continue. You know, it can be somehow one. out of topic, you know. But it's okay. Let's talk. <coughs> Do you have soda? We want to have some soda. Thank you. You may want to bring us uh, four bottles of. Uh, let me cut this.